peace, light, and blessings to all. Welcome to this In My Life vlog, Carla edition. I'm taking you around with me on one of my chillest days on the week, but it still will give you an essence of what it is that a week of mine looks like. So you'll see my space, what it is that I do for work, even what I eat, if you're into that. Hopefully that interests you. <laughs> so I hope you're comfy, you have your beverage of choice, whether that be coffee, tea, whatever, just relax and come along so i moved to st croix with my mom in 2015 and we currently live in frederickstead so hail up to the west side big up to io so this is my current studying area i live in a one-room apartment with my mom so this is the best spot for now you know given the space it has a nice background for classes, not distracting. I get good light coming through there. Um, but yeah, so I have a whiteboard to keep important dates, things I need to remember. I have a many subject notebook, so I do keep that so that I don't have many notebooks around. My journal, my planner. I keep colored pencils to color code. Um, obviously my headphones if I ever need them. Then I use the diffuser to kind of like set the mood and use some aromatherapy some people find it useful others don't but you find what suits you best i keep my instruments here i usually have my guitar but it's in the room and yeah so this is how i have my setup ready for the fall semester so whenever it is that i'm not in classes i am working i work as a jeweler in this family-owned business called cruising gold we do jewelry in sterling silver gold brass copper any metal that you can think of as you can see here i am doing or better said working on our crucian knot bracelet which is a signature piece and then here i am making a two-tone ring you know for protection reasons of my co-workers and what it is you know the value of what it is that we do i couldn't record in person but you get the idea. So right now we're going through Christianstead Town. And to kind of give you a background of how I started in Crucian Gold, I started around 2017. And like the only reason I remember is because that was my first semester in the University of the Virgin Islands. And that's also the time that Hurricane Irma hit us in the Virgin Islands. So it was a pretty rough time. But to be honest, it was a blessing at the same time because the essence of community came through and it just made me fall much more in love to the island than what it is that I had. So if you haven't noticed by now, we do drive on the left side. We, when I say we, I'm gonna refer to, you know, St. Croix. Um, it was under Danish rule before it was under the US rule. So that is a reason as to why this is so. Fun fact, I actually learned how to drive on the left side first rather than on the right so whenever it is that i go to puerto rico i have to like really think about it and be like yo you're on the right side and it can be kind of scary but you get used to it and yeah so i've been with crucian gold for three years now i currently work online as well so it's definitely been uh, a time to work on time management but you know you get things done all right food time this afternoon, Mommy actually got me some tang, um, which seems to be cooked kind of like ceviche style. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know ceviche, it's basically getting any type of seafood, putting green pepper, um, red pepper, onion, garlic, and then cooking it with lime. But this one uh, seems to be actually cooked with some butter because I can see like the oils and stuff like that separating so this might definitely go along with a nice piece of avocado and I'll fry up some plantain um ever since coming to St. Croix like my mom and I have definitely gone a little bit more veggie based um a lot of people here um eat more white meats fish and provisions um it's not too different from Puerto Rico but in Puerto Rico we do eat a lot more red meats and it's definitely been a good change like we've been a lot more health conscious we do uh go more plant-based than usual now more tea that's for sure like the coffee has never stopped but more tea is good so the bush tea here is really good um i've always drank sorrel um 
or Jamaican flour, however you refer to it, flor de Jamaica, hibiscus. Um, I've always drank it, but I learned to drink it cold here. I used to drink it as a hot tea before. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of like a lot of things that are similar. Um, for example, pumpkin fritters, we call them barriguita de vieja in Puerto Rico. And it's just really beautiful to see how both cultures are pretty similar but different at the same time. Alright, so after work, I came back home, picked up my mom, went to the gym, ate, and now I'm showering. Um, I'm not recording a lot of respect their privacy and just respect the space that we're in. Um, not a lot of people are comfortable in front of a camera, but uh, thankfully everything went smoothly. Um, here in St. Croix, the situation with COVID has been pretty well managed initially. You know, people were really taking care of themselves. Cases were steady, but then things they kind of did it too quickly and so we've just been on this on and off on and off type of situation just trying to figure it out um, each island in the US Virgin Islands is dealing with it differently in the sense that like our cases have remained somewhat good St. Thomas has been raising St. John has stayed relatively low um, but it's pretty unique I know that in Puerto Rico, there's harsher um, regulations that are being taken um, in regards to finding people when they're out after curfew, um, establishments that are opened um, illegally and stuff like that. So there's a little, there's difference, like I haven't seen much of like fining here, but at least I'm unaware, let's leave it at that, I'm unaware, but I know that for like the curfew on the beaches, police do come and they're like, please leave the beach at certain time, blah blah. Um, and just, it all depends. Like, I haven't gone out much. Like, literally, my routine is home, you know, because of either school or just because I don't really go out. Obviously, like, it's not a time to go out. So, it's just like home, work, gym. That's it, you know, trying to maintain some health, you know, as best as possible. Excuse me, and yeah, thankfully, like, I just made myself some tea, so cheers. And yeah, just like taking in this time that the pandemic has brought to us, like, I've been able to do hiking, you know, with small groups of just like three four people people that we really care for we go out and venture um this weekend we didn't do anything so that's why i didn't document it but if you follow me on social media you'll be able to see like what we do in our hikes um just having close friends come over to my house or we meet up at the beach or something and just like have that time um, I have been invited to like, a party or two, but I'm not for it right now because I feel like it's best, you know, out of respect for my workspace, my mom, which is who I live with, and everything. So it's just staying conscious in this time. But yeah, I hope you liked seeing how it is that my day goes. I know it wasn't much, you know, there isn't much. But I am happy, I am content with the routine I've built for myself, I'm comfortable. I feel like I can like tackle anything that comes my way because I'm in a space of comfort, in a space where I feel good, I feel like I have the support I need and so I hope you have that too and if not, I pray that you find it, that you can make that for yourself and I'm just really excited too for you to see how the rest of 
the club members are, you know, working out their situations with COVID and the quarantine, wherever it is that they are in the world. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching and much light and peace.